Okay, so I'm running a call today, an AC call, an insurance call. I'll let you figure out what insurance company. It's not too hard. Um, it's a recall. We I had originally gone out the first time. Uh, the lady, this old lady, had been in this place ten days, been there, and the air conditioner's not cooling. So, so I. Uh, Pull the filter, and it's kind of cruddy. And I set it aside, and and I um, and I checked my pressures outside earlier, so I know where the problem is. I come inside, and I pull the blower motor. It's a whip, but I pull the blower motor, and uh, shove my head up under there and look up through the heat exchanger. And sure enough, the evaporator coil is dirty. Now it's a fairly new furnace, and you can see that uh, most of it's powder and residue and other crap from from sheetrock. In the construction they were doing the house whoever it was to do the remodel on the place didn't have any filters in it when they ran the air conditioner while they were working obviously so okay i'm with that write it up and uh turn into the office and they turn in american home shield and it's covered this particular policy of theirs covers uh a lot more stuff than it should uh, i mean that's another story we'll get off to that another time anyway so I think I'm done with this, right? Because we have a couple of our, our installers that actually come out and clean the coils. They pull them and clean them, whatever. So I think I'm done with this, and we're good to go. And uh, a month goes by, I guess, and I get this recall. So I go back out there, and I pull up from the house like, oh, it's this house. Didn't recognize the name or address, but I recognize the house. And, um, and I go in, and this, this old lady's hostile right off the bat. And she's going on about how the unit is dripping the uh, dripping inside and, and then going on about something about how the uh, it's open to the attic and, and hot air is getting in or cold air is escaping or blah blah and I've talked to three or four people and an FHA blah 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 and it's all supposed to be sealed up and I'm like what is she going on about so I go in there and I look and I'm like okay I, I see there's needs a small piece of uh, of insulation on the suction line to keep it from condensating and dripping Maybe you could use a little uh, a little tape on the uh, the coil box to seal up a few little air tiny little air leaks, but the the open space that she's talking about and going on and on about, um, like it's my fault, is uh, it's not flowing in a closet by the way. It's a gas furnace that flowing in a closet. It's you know it's 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 cut open up there. Now granted, whoever installed it, whatever jack off installed this. Didn't bother to put a grate up there. Should have stuck a screen or a grate or something like that. But uh, she's going on about how it's supposed to be completely closed up. And there's this is a fairly new construction house. I mean, it's being redone and gas furnace is there. So there's no louvers on this door that closes in front of the furnace to uh, pull combustion air from in the house. And I'm trying to explain to this lady that she has to have combustion air. And uh, then she, she goes and gets her, her son on the phone and insists that I talk to him. And, and he's even more hostile. And I'm trying to explain to him, and he didn't want to hear about it, and he lives in the house, and he's looking at his furnace, and there's no combustion air holes. There's nothing up there, and there's no louvers on the doors. And I'm thinking, well, if you want to kill yourself, you know, if you want uh, to starve the, the furnace and, and crack the heat exchanger and, and die, you know, I'm not saying that, but that's what I'm thinking. Because obviously, he knows a lot more than I do, right? I mean, he's got to be much much smarter than me right i mean come on uh <laughs> so he gets he is real hostile on the phone i'm like this is counterproductive i just want to get this job done and go so i hang up on him yeah i, I know it's a real smart move hang up on the guy but i mean he, he he's not listening it's non-productive so i just hang up on him i put the phone down and i go back to the closet and i figure well i'm gonna get this insulation wrap done on the thing and i'll slap some some ta ceiling tape on the thing and I'll turn the rest of the office, see if they want to come out and put a grate on it later. Well, of course he called right back, like two minutes later. And then the old lady comes in, and she's like, uh, she's like, my son said for you not to leave until he gets here. And then she starts going on and getting in my face again. I'm like, well, I'm leaving now. She's, and, she, <laughs> and picture this. So the, the unit's here, right? And you come down the hallway here, and there's the doorway right here to go to the living room. And she physically blocks the doorway, trying to keep me from leaving. 
And I'm like, lady, I am leaving. And so I'm pushing my way past her through the doorway and she's grabbing me physically, trying to keep me there. <laughs> and she's like, well, blah, 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 blah. And still ranting and raving. And, uh, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> I have got to get out of here. So anyway, I ditch and bail out of there and I call the office and uh, explain everything to the boss as soon as I got down the street. And uh, then call the insurance company and told them what happened. And I'm sure they transferred it to some other lucky soul who's at this very minute making an appointment with her. So that's how my day went. You know, one out of every 700 to 1,000 to 1,500 customers is, is just a real peach to deal with. Anyway. That's it. You know, she just kept her mouth shut and fixed everything and turned that in. But, but they had to get—they have to get hostile and violent. They just do. And then she laid her hands on me. I just could not believe that she physically tried to restrain me and uh, and and keep me from leaving. That's the—that's the killer part, you know. And and uh, all I could do was back away and get out. Uh, anyway, that's the story for the day. And uh, any other guys that, that do service calls out there, if you have any interesting calls you would like to, uh, to share with me, I could probably dig, dig a few other ones up, but if you have any other interesting calls you'd like to share with me, please do so. I'd love to hear them. Thanks.